YouTube. And then we are... Are you going to say something first? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Catalan Live Skills session. Today is a Ronaldo edition of the session. Now, you'll notice I've got a special guest here. I've got my little boy, Catalan Frankie, with me today. And he's going to be doing some of the basic skills, and then I'm going to be doing the advanced skills. So if you guys are usually training along with the intermediate or the beginner ball, you guys copy Frankie, you're going to be doing his stuff. If you're an advanced player, you guys are going to be following along with me. Before we get started, make sure you've got yourself a nice big drink. Frankie's got his drink, I've got mine, so we're all ready to go. I'll give you 30 seconds now to run in the kitchen, grab yourself a drink, and then we are ready to get started with your Ronaldo session. Show your balls in the, in the shop. There we go. Right guys, so because we're doing a Ronaldo session today, we're going to do a lot of step overs, a lot of chops that are famous for Ronaldo using them, but we're also going to do a lot of speed and a lot of jumping, a lot of power work in our warm up. So the first part of the session is going to be your warm up, and the first part's really simple. It's just some running on the spot. But today we are going to run like Ronaldo. So I want you to get your ball in position and stand behind your ball, and we're just going to jog on the spot nice and easy. Go on, Frank, follow along with me. Just going to jog on the spot. Now, we're going to run like Ronaldo, so it's going to be a bit different today. Ronaldo always runs with his chin up. And when he runs, he really drives his arms back as powerful as he can. So as we run, we're going to sprint. We're going to push those arms back. You see that? Drive those arms as fast as you can. That's it, Frank. Push, 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 push. But keep that chin up. Keep that chin up like Ronaldo. There you go. Three, two, one. It's up there. Perfect. All right, now, everybody, if, especially if you're a Ronaldo fan, you should know Ronaldo's celebration. Ronaldo's celebration is really easy. We jump, but we're going to go up over the top of our football. We're going to turn in the air, and we are going to land in that Ronaldo pose. So nice and easy. We'll do it together, Frank. You ready? Three, two, one. We jump, turn, and land like Ronaldo, just like that. You guys can do it, but now we're going to do it with our sprints. So we're going to do our sprint, and when I say jump, we're going to go up, over, and land in that pose. Everyone ready? Ready, Frank? Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we start with our sprint. Drag those arms. Keep that chin up. Jump. We go up, over, and land like Ronaldo. There you go. As you manage it, don't land on the dog. Be careful. Are you ready? Let's go again. Stop, drive. Good, Frank. Drive those arms as fast as you can. Ready? Jump. Up and over the top. Perfect. Just like that. All right. So the next bit we're going to move on to. Grab a drink if you need one. So we've done Ronaldo's speed and some Ronaldo's celebrations. The next thing we are going to do is some Ronaldo step overs. I'm going to get my red and yellow sock out. You'll notice Frankie's got his red and yellow socks out too. So the first bit we're going to do is step overs. We'll slow things down a little bit. Nice and easy. Red step over, yellow step over. Easy as that, Frank. So step to the side of the ball, go yellow, and go red, and go yellow. Nice and easy. All right. Now, everybody stand on the right hand side of your ball. So the ball's just outside your yellow sock. Now as we do it, we're going to do a double. So we're going to go yellow, red, but as quick as you can. There you go, Frank, ready? Go, one, two. Now when we get back to this position, we're going to keep our feet moving. Just a little bit. So we're going to go yellow, red, and then keep your feet moving. Yellow, red. Good boy, Frank, brilliant. Go, yellow, red. Perfect. And one more. Go, yellow, red. Awesome. All right, now we're going to swap to the side of the ball. Now I'm just going to do it the other way around. So instead of going yellow, red, we're going to go red, yeah. red, yellow. Exactly. So same thing. If you want to drive those arms a little bit faster, that Ronaldo, that'd be great. And then we're going to go red, yellow. Nice and quick. Can you do them even faster, Frank? Drive those arms. Go. Red, yellow. Good. Try and beat me. Be faster. Ready? Go. Red, yellow. Perfect. And hold it there. Guys, well done. We've got one final part to your wall. This bit's really simple but it's a massive part of Ronaldo's game. It's called the Ronaldo Flex, all right? Frank has never seen this before, you're looking at me confused. When you stand on your weak foot, so your weak foot's the one that's bouncing on the floor, and your strong foot, you are gonna point your toes down. Not up, point them down, you see that? Point your toes down, Frank. All I want you to do is move from one side of the ball to the other. Try and draw a little semicircle behind the ball. Can you do that, Frank? There we go. Now notice how slow I'm doing it. Just like that, there we go. Swap feet, right foot on the floor, which has a little gap between your foot and the ball. I'm gonna go left foot, round the outside, nice and easy. You got it, Frank? Cool. Yeah. Now we're gonna speed it up a little bit. One thing that Ronaldo does, 
is he pretends to kick the ball and he moves that foot really quickly. So what I want you guys to do is do a little few Ronaldo flexes. So we flex the ankle, we fake a kick on the left, we fake a kick on the right, fake a kick on the left. So it's three quick moves. We go one, two, three. But then when you do it really, really fast, one, two, three. You see that? One, two, three. And if you move that foot really quick, one, two, three. You're pretending to the defender, Frank, that you're going to go left or go right, and you're trying to fake where the defender's going to go. You got it? So we'll do one on the right foot, and then we'll do one on the left foot. So we go right foot, go, one, two, three. And then we change feet, left foot, one, two, three. And then right foot, one, two, three. There we go. And just dodge left and right, just two or three times. Have a little practice. It feels weird on your left foot, doesn't it? Yeah. Good boy. All right? Now, we're going to break up those flexes with our jumps. So we're going to go one, two, three with the flex. We're going to jump up over the top, land in that Ronaldo pose, and then swap feet. So now we're going to do left foot. So we go left, left, left. We go up over the top, land it, and then right foot. Right, right, right. Over the top. Boom. You got it, Frank? You keep that pattern going. Good lad. Make sure you swap feet every time. There you go. So you've got one on the right, one on the left. Perfect. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Awesome, guys. Final bit we're going to do is some high jumps. You jump as high as you can. We're going to start with our Ronaldo speed. Drive those arms. When you jump, get your head as high as you can. See if you can touch the ceiling. Don't hit the light bulb, but try and hit the ceiling. Are we ready, Frank? So we're going to drive those arms. Drive, 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 drive. Go. Jump. Big jump high as you can. There you go. Drive again. Push those arms. Go, 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 go. Keep chin up. Jump. Final one. Getting tight now. Push, 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 push. Fast as you can. Jump. There you go, guys. Excellent start. Grab your drink, Frank. I need to get mine. Woof. Let's go warm up over with. Hard work. Let's see if I can. There we go. Get a drink, guys. Get some energy back in your lungs. Before we start the game, we are going to ask you a question. We've got a little quiz today. So if you want to answer one of the quiz questions, you can either scream it at the TV or you can type it in the comments on the Facebook or the YouTube channel and let us know which answer you think is correct. Every question, guess who they're going to be about? Obviously Ronaldo. So it's going to be Ronaldo questions. I'm going to test your knowledge, see if you know enough about Ronaldo. The first question is really simple. How old is he? What age is Ronaldo? I'll give you a clue. He's either 34 or 35. You guys let me know in the comments, see if you get the right answer. Frank, do you know? 34 or 35? 35. He's going to go 35. Do you guys agree with Frankie? He might know it, he might not. You guys have a guess. All right, we're going to go straight into round one. I think Messi's 35. Well, we'll see at the end, won't we? Right, so first thing we're going to do is a few really basic chops. Now, for my advanced players, we're going to do this with balance. For the intermediate or the beginner players, you guys don't need your balance for this. So what we're going to do is start with a chop, and I call this a star chop. You get nice and big with those legs, Frank. And then the left foot comes in, and you chop just like that with the ball. And then, when you do it on the right foot, nice and big with that right foot, make a big star. And then we're going to jump down and chop with the right foot. You can touch the ball a little bit, but try not to whack it in here really hard. Okay? So we're just going to do a little red chop, and then we're going to do a little yellow chop, like that. Now, for my older players, for my more advanced players, I want you guys to try and do it with balance. So I need to go right foot, and don't let the left foot touch the floor. Left foot. Don't let the right foot touch the floor. So see how I'm keeping my balance with those few little hops in between and see how many you can do without losing control. You got it? Off you go. You've got 45 seconds of those practices now. So I want you to chop with the left and try and keep your balance if you can. And then chop with the right. Keep that balance on the right foot. Remember the younger players like Frankie, you guys don't have to keep your balance. But we're going for a little star chop. Nice big star shape with the legs. Nice big star shape with the arms. Just like that, Frankie. You got it? Good boy. Now you'll notice here that when Frankie's doing it, he's always trying to get both feet coming off the floor. You don't just keep one foot on the floor and one foot off, you get both feet up. So it's a little jump to do your chop. So make sure you're doing that when you're practicing. There you go, Frank, good boy. A little jump, perfect. Three, two, one. Awesome, give me that back. Nailed it, good boy. Right, next part that we're gonna do. We're now gonna chop the ball, and then we're gonna try and stop it with the other foot. Okay, you push that a tiny bit, Frank, so I don't knock you over. This one looks really simple, harder than it looks though. Right foot, stop the left. You see that? And then we go left foot and stop with the right. right. So you're trying to stop that ball before it rolls too far away from you. This is showing that you can chop it, but under Good control. Boy. Good boy. So we're going to chop with the right, stop with the left. You see that? Chop with the left, and try and stop with the right. 
So have a few practices at this before we get started. Everybody get practicing now before we go for your full speed round. So we're going to try and chop and stop, chop and stop. For older players, for advanced players, you guys can do this, but do it as quick as you can. See if you can go chop, stop. You see that? Chop, stop. See how quick you can move the ball and still keep control of it. That's the hard part. Good boy, Frank. So Frank's having a few goes on his right, a few goes on his left, just like that. We're going to start your round now. We've got about 45 seconds of practice. Work as fast as you can, okay? So Frank is working at his speed, I'm working at my speed. There is no right or wrong in this drill. It's all about working at the speed that's best for you. Everybody ready? Off you go. 45 seconds. I'm going to work that little chop and stop. Chop and stop. Try and move the ball quickly and try and go straight into the next one. My advanced players, as soon as you've stopped that ball with your right foot, you're going to go straight into the next chop. Straight into the next chop. You see it? We're trying to chop and stop every time. Good, Frankie. He's going left to right and right to left. He's doing really well. Well done, Frank. You've got another 10 seconds left, guys. Then we're going to tell you the Ronaldo answer. Good boy. Well done. He's not losing control. Oh. <laughs> we did on that one. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Well done, guys. Awesome. Right, did everybody get the right answer? I'm running out of drink already, Frankie. Drink it too much. The correct answer was 35. So Frankie got it right. Well done if you guys got it right too. 34 was a bit of a trick answer because Messi is 34, but I Ronaldo right. is 35. Both right. Well done, Frankie. He knows his trivia. So 35 was the correct answer. Well done if you got it right in the comments. Get ready for the next question at the end of the next round. Okay, well, so we've done the chop, and we've done the chop and stop. The next bit we're going to do, we are now going to start to roll and stop. So we're going to roll the ball with the right, stop it with the left. Roll the ball with the left, stop it with the right. Now what I'm going to do here, Frank, is come a little bit behind you, because we need a little bit of sideways space here. So you stay in front, I'll stay behind. So then when we roll it, look how I'm not bumping into you, and you're not bumping into me. Yeah? So we're going to roll it with the right, but do a roll that's nice and big. Try and make sure that roll is at least two big steps wide. For my advanced players, I want you to try and roll it quickly. I want you to kick down through the ball as you do it, just like that. So roll it with the left, roll it with the right. There you go, Frank. Remember, we're working at our own speed. We go as fast as we can go, whilst keeping control. Good, Frankie. So we will go right foot, stop it with the left. Left foot, stop it with the right. Good boy, look how fast he went on that one. Always try and push yourself to go a little bit faster. Everyone have a bit of a practice? Are we happy? Ready, Frank? Ready. Here we go, 45 seconds. Off you go. Everybody do it with him. So we're going to roll in it with the left, nice and quick, stop it with the right. How quick can you move and keep your ball under control? Ronaldo's not just quick, he's precise, he's accurate, he's deadly. And you can only be that good and at top speed if you've got real good control of the ball. Notice how when Frankie's doing it, not every single one goes perfect, but that's because he's pushing himself, he's trying to go as fast as he can, he's trying to go outside his comfort zone. We're going to get faster by working faster. And if things go wrong, it's cool. We just keep going. If this guy can do it live in front of all you lot, you guys can do it in your living room. So work that ball nice and fast. You've got five seconds. Oh, Frank, let's do one more. Big one. And stop there. Well done. I think that was time to stop if we're falling over. Well done, guys. So we've done the chop, the chop and stop, and then the roll and stop. The next part, we are going to link things together, but we've got another question for you first, okay? The question is, how many goals has Ronaldo scored this season, okay? How many goals has Ronaldo scored this season? The problem is with this question is you think, mm, well, is that Champions League? Is it just the league? You know, how many, how many is it? Because it, how many competitions are we talking about? We're only talking about the league. So it's just about the league. And I'll give you a little 50-50 chance of getting it right. It's either 18 or 21. What do you think is the correct answer? How many goals has Ronaldo scored? Is it 18 or 21? You guys let me know in the comments. Frank, what do you think? 21. You're going to be 21? Oh, I don't know. I don't trust him. He might get it wrong. He got the last one right, doesn't mean he's going to get them all right. So, Frank is going 21. What do you guys think? Right, guys, the next part of the session. Really, really easy. This one's just going to be chops, but we are going to try and do a double chop. We're going to try and go left foot, right foot. You see that? So, did everybody notice how there was no pause in between? We're trying to go left foot, right foot. Straight into it. <laughs> Harder than it looks, isn't it, Frank? When you see someone do it, you think, oh yeah, I can do that. I can chop on the left, I can chop on the right. Surely I can do this. But to be able to go left foot, right foot takes a bit of practice. So I want you guys to just have a go doing the left foot first, and then have a go doing the right foot. And you might need a little step in between. So my beginner players might do a couple of steps, and then the right foot. For my older players, 
You guys might be able to go left foot, right foot. If you're really fancy, there's really advanced players out, out there. I know Riley Davis is watching. So Riley, I reckon you guys could do this one. So you can go left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. So you can do four in a row. That's not easy. Good boy. <laughs> right Pretty good, Frank. Good try. Well done. Reset your ball, dude. So we're going to have a little practice now, and then we're going to go 45 seconds. In that 45 seconds, do as many as you can, but try and maintain control. Don't be bouncing off the walls and hitting into mum's dresser and everything else. Try and make sure that we're playing left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. So you can do four in a row for my advanced players, or two in a row for my intermediates. Right foot, off you go, guys. Left foot. No, I can't. <laughs> you don't have to do four at once, right? You can do two. So one, two, that's fine. And then reset your feet, give yourself that little chance to get your balance back, and then go again. Right foot, left foot. Right Not bad, good boy, well done. Pretty good. Are you guys keeping up with Frankie? Are you even faster than Frankie? I think some of these guys are faster. You might have to go quicker. Good boy, you got about 20 seconds left. Remember, work at the pace that's best for you. See if you can do all four in a row. Not bad, and don't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold it there, Frank, well done. Guys, today we are developing your power, your balance, your control. All that stuff developing at the same time, plus your speed. So it's a really good session for you. You'll notice there, the first few that Frankie did, he was wobbling. He was falling over a little bit. By the end of it, just by doing 20, his balance was loads better. He could do it and he could land and he wasn't falling. And that's why we're doing it. Improve that balance. All right, so what was the answer, Frankie? How many goals are Ronaldo scored this season? 21. 21 is the correct answer. 21 yes! was right. Well done if you got 21. Woo! 18 was the incorrect answer, unfortunately. But well done if you did get 21. Uh, 21 goals in the season so far is very good when you think the season's not even finished yet. Some players don't even score 21 goals in a full season. Ronaldo scored that. Yeah, the season's not even finished. How crazy is that? Really, really good. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to the next part and we've got another question for you. This is a tough one. How many goals did Ronaldo score for Real Madrid? So he doesn't play for those guys anymore. He plays for Juventus now. But he scored a lot of goals for Real Madrid. He played for them for about six or seven years. He was unbelievably good. I'll give you three choices here. This is a bit harder. Is it 444? Is it 454? Or is it 464? Is it A, B or C? Is it 444? Is it 454 or 464? You guys let me know. Frank, what do you reckon? A, B or C? You're going to go for B? Yeah, yeah you don't look think, sure though. I think um, C is too high and I think yeah, A is too low. It was good though, it did score a lot, you never know. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to the next part. So we've done the chop with both feet, now what we're going to try and do is a forward chop. So Frank, we're going to move forward and backwards a little bit here. Oh. This is how the game works. The ball's going to start on your right side, but it's diagonal. So it's not just at the side of me, it's the side and a little bit in front, okay? So Frank, can you position yourself about there, and then the ball starts about there, perfect. And then we are going to chop and try and move forward. So we're going to move towards the ball, chop, and stop. But now we're doing it moving forward. See the difference there, Frank, yeah? yeah we'll do it the other way, so I can do it left foot. So the ball's out in front on the left, and I'm going to chop and stop. We're we'll trying to go die. I don't know. You got it? All right. So let's reset our balls. There you go, Frank. You set. Ready? So we're going to go chop and stop, but we're moving the ball forward. Quick turn. We go back the other way. So we've got ball out in front, chop, and turn. Lad. Make sure you're working both feet here, so do a couple on your right foot, and then make sure we change that yellow sock, left foot, chop and stop, and look how we're moving forward now with the ball. Now the best players here will be able to do this with a little dribble, so can you go outside, then chop? You see it? I'll have a go on my left foot now. That's it, Frank, we're going outside and then chop. So it's two touches for this one, and again, speed is better, but control's important too. Can you go outside and then chop? Have we got that, Frank? Outside, and then hit the wall. <laughs> Just like that. Outside, and then chop. Make sure there's nothing in the way. Make sure you're not going to bump into anybody. You have a go, Frank. Outside, chop. Good boy. Have we got my left foot as well, dude? Let's go. Yellow, yellow. That's it. Good lad. Don't forget to jump when you're chopping. It's a little bit harder now because we're on the move and we're going diagonal. Everyone had a practice? Perfect. Right, Frank, I'm going to move out of your way for this one. So you've got the whole area to yourself. We've got 45 seconds, guys. I want to dribble this way, outside, then chop. When you get through the sides, a little turn. We go outside, then chop. And you change feet as often as you like. You can change feet all the time. You can change feet once or twice. You can change feet never if you want. If you just want to practice on the right foot, that's cool too. Ready, Frank? Five, five seconds. Off you go. 
outside, then shot. I'm going to talk people through this as you're doing it, Frank. Notice how the first touch pushes the ball what direction? Diagonal and then chop. Good boy. Well done, Frankie. And then turn and go back the other way. Now, Frank's done loads on his right foot there. So what should we try and do next? There you go. Yellow sock. Yellow sock. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> Good boy. He's going to go left foot again. Left foot, left foot. Good boy. Well done, Frank. Doing really well. Hope you guys are practicing along at home and getting those chops right. See how fast you can do it. My advanced players should be going bang, bang. Two quick touches. And the touch to the right takes the defender to the right, and then we go to the left. Or the touch to the left takes the defender left, and then we go to the right. So it's all about explosive movement, good control, perfect, Frank, and hold it there. Guys, well done, you've done brilliant. Let's grab ourselves a drink, Frankie, that's hard work. Well, it's hard work for you, I've sat down. <laughs> I've got the easy job. There we go. Let's check how many people are watching us. Oh, Frankie, you've got 46 followers on YouTube. There we go. And we've got a few on Facebook as well. Cool. Right, guys, well done. How many goals did Ronaldo score? Was it A, B, or C? What do you reckon is the right answer? Was it 4, 4, 4? Was it 4, 5, 4? Or 4, 6, 4? Frank, what do you reckon? What are you going for? I went for B. You went for B? You got it right again. B was the correct yes! answer. Yes! 4, 4, 4 was not enough. 4, 6, 4 was too many. It was 4, 5, 4. He scored four, uh, I got it right as well. He scored 454 goals in less than 450 matches. How crazy is that? He scored more than a goal every game. That was unbelievable. Not only is he amazing, but that time at Real Madrid that he had, he was just like unbeatable. You just couldn't stop him scoring. I'm pretty sure he scored in one game when he didn't even play. I'm sure he still got the score sheet. That's how good he is. Anyway, guys, we're gonna move on to the next part. So we've done your diagonal chops now. And I don't know if you remember at the beginning, we did a few soul rolls as well. We're gonna now try and link those two together. So the aim of the game here, is to still do that little diagonal touch, but now things go the other way, Frank. So if you start with the right foot, you're going to roll it to the left. And then you're going to chop with the left foot. You got it? Or if you start with the left foot, you're going to roll it to the right, and then chop with the right. You see it? So for this skill, you can't just use the same foot twice. Before, we were going right foot, right foot, left foot, left foot. Now, this is going to go left foot, right foot. Or you can do it the other way around, where I can go right foot, left foot. For my advanced players, again, we're trying to really speed things up now and see how quickly and how controlled you can go left foot, right foot. You see that? So you guys have a little practice at it first. Good, well done, Frankie. Notice how we're using the sole of the foot for this skill. So watch when Frankie does it. He uses the bottom of the foot to drag it, and then he's quickly trying to get into the chop. The hard bit here, Frank, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because your feet get a bit crossed over. So you've got to roll it and quickly uncross those feet and get back in that chop position. That's the hard part. Well done, Frankie. Are we ready to go? Have we had enough practice? Go on then. Go right foot to left foot or left foot to right foot. That was the one we did before you did back. That was outside. We're doing soul roll, remember now. So we're going soul roll. Don't do the outside. Frankie forgot. There you go, good boy. Ready, guys? We've got 45 seconds. Off you go. We're going to roll with the right, chop with the left. Or you're going to roll with the left, chop with the right. You'll need a little bit of space here. Try not to run into the dog or into dad or anything like that. Just keep that ball rolling. Roll with the right, oh, chop with the left. Nice. Or roll with the left, chop with the right. There you go, Frankie. <laughs> it's hard on the left foot, isn't it? So if you're struggling like Frankie on the left foot, that's cool. Just have a go on your strong foot. So if Frankie just wants to go yellow roll every time and chop on his red, that's cool. If you're good enough to do it on both feet, fantastic. Keep going. Go on, Frankie, get your ball set again. Let's have a go. Remember speed. Is key here, if you can do this fast, that'd be great. If it's going wrong, slow things down a tiny bit, but you don't have to go super, super fast. There we go. Oh, we've got a few shout outs coming here. Go on, Frank, you've got about 10 seconds left. Whoa, we've got lots of people watching. Charlie Maguire. Charlie is one of Frankie's teammates. He plays for Horsford on a Sunday. Thank you for watching, Charlie. We miss you, dude. He comes to our Saturday session to great little player, really, Frank. Skill set. We've got Brooksy tuning in. Brooksy's always watching. Thank you, Brooksy, for being here. Um, we've got is that Jarvis or Jarvis? Jarvis or Jarvis? I'm not sure which, but thank you for watching, dude. We've got Ru Ruby watching as well. Thank you, Ruby. We've got Owen, who is not is here as a Spurs fan. We beat Spurs in the Champions League final, didn't we? <laughs> but a massive Spurs fan, Owen. And then we've got Jamie tuning in as well. Jamie, thank you for watching us. Guys, we're going to move on to the next part. Now, we've got two more questions left, but we're not going to do a question yet. We're going to move on to the next bit. Before we do that, we're going to bring the ball forward. We're going to have a little sit down, get a bit close to the camera. A little bit of noise outside. Some some guys, I don't know, build a wall or something. Now, we're going to take a little two-minute break. Make sure you've got your drink out. Have a sit down on your bar if you need to. If you need a wee, go quick. We're not going to do any skills for about 90 seconds, so go nice and fast. 
There's a couple of things we want to talk about with Ronaldo and why he is as good as he is. Do you think he practices once a week, Frank, or every single day? Every single day. Do you think he eats junk food and rubbish, or do you think he eats like healthy food and good stuff? Healthy food and good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Do you think he drinks loads of fizzy pop, or do you think he like, drinks water, juice, and stuff like that? Water, juice, and juice. Exactly, yeah. So there's a reason that Ronaldo is not only as good as he is, but he's as fit and as strong and as fast as he is, because he looks after his body, he trains really hard, and he never, ever, ever just takes a day off and goes, oh, I can't be bothered training today. Oh, it's raining, I'm not going to bother. He takes his training really seriously, and that's how he got where he is. Now, you could train every single day and never be as good as Ronaldo, because he is really special. But I promise you, if you train every single day, if you put in loads of work, and you eat right, and you look after your body, and you train your fitness as well, you'll be as good as you possibly can be. That might be as good as Ronaldo, it might not. But if you want to be your best, you've got to look after yourself, and you've got to train every single day. Me and Frankie never take a day off. We train every single day. I'm I'm still not as good as Ronaldo, but I'm as good as I can be because I'm always dribbling the ball, always practicing, always trying to learn new stuff. And me and Frank spend loads of time in the garden, at the park, we do crossbar challenges, and all those kind of things we do is to try and improve our technique and try and get as good as we can. All right? So, main message from today, there's a way that Ronaldo got there. He didn't do it by sitting on his butt. He didn't do it by being lazy. He did it by working really, really hard. Everyone got it? We're going to get back into your session, Frank. So, we've got the final round. In the final round now, we are going to mix things up. So we've done a few chops, so we've done a few insides and outsides and rolls. The first one here is going to be inside, outside, chop. You see that, Frank? Inside, oh, start with the inside. Everybody start with the inside, outside, chop. There you go. So this is three touches now, but I want you to try and really quicken things up. <laughs> Nearly. Start the inside. So we've got inside red, Outside red and then into the chop. You see that? I'll do it again. We've got inside, inside outside, outside chop. chop. Three quick touches here. If we're doing it with the left foot, we're just going to go the other way. So we're going to go inside, inside left, outside, outside left, chop. chop with the left. Good. Frankie's worked it out now, but all the touches with the same foot here. Not bad, Frank. Good boy. Not to fall over. We don't get any free kicks when we're in the bunker. So we're going to go inside, outside, chop. See how quick you can link those three touches together? There we go. Now, for really advanced players, while you're practicing this one, you could try this, where we go inside, outside. It's a quick little elastico move. Your foot doesn't come off the ball. So we go inside, outside. You see that? Inside, outside. It's very similar to that little Ronaldo flex that we did earlier. We go inside, outside, and then a chop. See how quick you can do that skill. Inside, outside. Not bad, Frank. Good effort. Are we ready to go? We've got 45 seconds of practice. Work as fast as you can go, but keep that ball under control. We're going to go inside, outside, then into your chop. If you're really fancy, see if you can work that left foot too. Can we go inside, outside, then into your chop? Well, Frank, you have a practice else there, you way. Not bad, Frank, well done. Remember, it's inside first, did yeah? Inside, outside, chop. Are you stealing my football? Well, Richard, you go. I'm just watching you. Inside, outside, chop. Inside, outside, then a chop. That was brilliant, good boy. Notice how Frankie's going quick, but he's keeping that ball under control. Oh, he nearly got it on the left foot. That is a hard one. Don't run into the door, whatever you do. Inside, outside, chop. Go on, Frank. We've got about another 15 seconds left. <laughs> nearly. Go back the other way. Try a left foot for me now. So go inside, outside, and then chop. Good boy. He's getting there with that left foot. It takes a lot of practice, the yellow one. But well done, guys, if you're getting there. We are building skills here, so we're always trying to make things a little bit harder. So we start with really simple stuff, and now it's getting harder and harder as we go. Go on, Frank, you got five, four, <laughs> nice step over. Three, two, one, and hold it there. Guys, you've been absolutely brilliant there. Well done. Have a little sit down, grab yourself a quick drink. We're going to do another question, Frank. Really, really good there, guys. You run out of juice? I'm going to run out of water as well. Okay, now the next part that we're going to do is the question about Ronaldo's weak foot. So when I was talking about how hard Ronaldo trains and how good he is and everything that he does, one of the things he always does is practice with both feet. Now, I want you to tell me how many goals Ronaldo has scored this season, but with his left foot, with his weak foot. Now, remember, the answer earlier for how many goals he scored was 21. So with his left foot, he's not going to have scored more than that, is he? <laughs> this only... season, this yeah. season. So he scored 21 goals altogether. How many of them were on his left foot? Now, don't forget, Ronaldo's good at headers too. So some of his goals might have been headers. Some of them, well, probably quite a lot of them will have been right foot. How much do you think he scored on his left foot? You guys let me know in the comments. Give me a shout down below. Tell me it's either going to be three or five. Do you reckon it's three or five? On his left foot only though, remember? All right? What do you reckon, Frank? Three or five? Frank? Three. 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 Three.
Thanks, Dad Shaw. Is that a guess? You got a one in two chance of getting it right. Uh, five. You're going for five? Oh. Yeah, because he scores a few headers as well, doesn't he? Okay, right. Next part that we're going to do. So we did the inside, outside, and then the chop. Remember that one? Now this one is a little bit different. Ready for this, Frank? Yeah. Roll, outside, chop. So instead of inside, outside, chop, we roll outside, chop. Now, any of you guys who've trained along with me before have done my little fake pass move, where we go over the ball and come back, it's very similar to that. We go over the ball and then outside of the foot. You got it? Not bad, Frank, good boy. What was difficult about that one, Frank? Did the ball go forward or we get stuck behind you? Got stuck behind you. So we've got to make sure this ball goes forward here, guys. We go roll outside, but the ball's in front, and then we can do that little chop before the defender gets it. You got it? <laughs> so we go roll outside and then the chop. If you're really careful with this one, you should get it right. And then once you've got it right, let's see a little bit of speed. Can we go roll outside, straight into the chop? See how quick you can do that. <laughs> It's a good job these walls are padded, Frankie. He's been bouncing off them. You guys have got 45 seconds, so you have a practice. Frankie's going to go along with you. So try and go roll, outside, and then a chop. That's pretty good, ah. Frankie, on that left foot. Don't knock the camera over, dude. I'm on the right foot coming back this way then. So we go roll, outside, chop. Oh, it needs to go forward, remember, dude. That's the hard bit, isn't it? So roll, outside, chop. That was better, and it was better because he was diagonal. So we're getting that ball in front. In front there, then we can do that chop nice and easy. There you go, there you go. Now he's flying. Woo. Now it looks like Ronaldo. If you really want to show off, see if you can go roll, outside, chop, boom. I love that Ronaldo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go on then. Roll, outside, so we do Ronaldo skill. And then Ronaldo celebration. There you go, good lad. Well done, you got about 15 seconds left, boys. Roll, outside, chop. Sorry, boys and girls. I always say boys, but there's loads of girls watching as well. Especially Ruby, who gave us a shout out. Thank you, Ruby. Go ahead, roll, outside, chop. Roll, outside, chop. Hey, free kick, yellow cards for diving. What? I'm not helping him up, he fell over all his own, I didn't do anything. Never touched him, ref. Oh. Okay, guys, what do you think was the right answer for it? Come on, dude, on your ball. What do you think was the right answer? How many goals has Ronaldo scored with only his left foot? Frankie said five. For the first time today, Frankie got it wrong. No! Oh, yeah, it was three. He's only scored three this season with his left foot. Oh, which is actually was that? He's below his average. He usually scores about 20 to 25% of his goals with his left foot. So Ronaldo's not scored as many this season, but like we said, the season's not finished yet. He might get five by the end of the season. So well done if you got the right answer. Remember, the reason Ronaldo is so good with both feet is practice. That's why every single skill that we do today, we are working both feet to do it. And that's why we wear our red and yellow socks to make sure that we always practice with the red, we practice with the yellow, and we work both sides so we score more goals with both feet. Helps with your passing, your control, everything else with that left foot and the right foot. Doesn't matter whether you're left footed or right footed, you've always got to work your weak foot. So well done guys, especially if you've got the right answer. Right Frank, we are going to go on to the final one. Oh. You reckon you can do it? No. You reckon you can do it? You can, honestly, you absolutely can. Because all we're doing, all we're doing today is like, I call it chaining skills together. We're trying to make a big long chain of skills. We've worked on loads of skills today. We're gonna to start really simple. Do you remember your little Ronaldo flex? Yeah? The little shimmy from side to side. A little quick move, just like that. We're gonna start with that. Then we're gonna go straight into our inside outside chop. Or you can do the roll outside chop, whichever you prefer. So watch me for a couple and then you, you practice with me. So we start with our little flex, inside outside chop. Or we can do the same kind of thing but with the roll. So we start with that little flex, and we're going to roll outside chop. If you want to, you can make it even simpler. You can start with your little flex move, and then you can just go straight to roll and chop. So it's up to you which one you want to do. You can do any variation of those three. You got it, Frank? Good. Little flex, roll, and chop. Really good. You guys give it a practice. You've got about 45 seconds. Get out of the way of the camera, Frank. People can't see. Go on, dude, come back this way. Roll, outside, chop. Don't get your little flex at the beginning. There you go. There you go, and then push, and then short. That was a nice little, little roll outside. And a celebration, I love that. You guys, off you go. You've got about 30 seconds left. Let's get that ball moving nice and quick. Move that foot nice and fast. Watch the wall. <laughs> Be careful, dude. So make sure when you're doing that little shimmy, we've got to move the ball quickly into the next skill, okay? One of the things that's so good about Ronaldo is how explosive he is. He moves that ball really, really fast. Moves his body really, really fast. Keeps his chin up and don't hit the wall. 
if you really fancy now, you might even do the shimmy into a little step over. So we do a few practices of step over in the warm up. You might do your little shimmy into a step over and then do your skill. So can you do a shimmy, step over, and then a little inside outside chop? I did a double. Go on then. So shimmy, little flex, step over, roll it, chop it. I forgot what to do. Yeah, I forgot. Now that's the problem when you're chaining skills and the chain's too long, then you forget stuff. All right, guys, we're going to pause it there. Last bit we're going to do is the lightning round. Now, we always end with the lightning round, which is a recap of stuff we've already done, but we're doing it super, duper fast. Okay? The first one we're going to do, nice and simple, bring your ball forward, Frank. I want you now to do as many chops as you can before I hit the, uh, the, uh, the buzzer. So, you've got 30 seconds. Oh, no, on the wall. So, you've got 30 seconds to go as fast as you can. I want you to try and chop and stop. Or, if you don't want to do the stop and you want to go even faster, see if you can just go and do as many chops as you can and see how many you can do in 30 seconds. If it goes wrong, don't talk about it, we get the ball back quick because we're running out of time. So you've got to make sure we're getting as many chops as you can in that lightning round. Ah! Do as many as you can and don't bump into the wall. Are you ready to go? You've got 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Chop, 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 chop. As many chops as you can. If you need a little chop and stop, that's okay. If you want to do it a little bit slower and make sure you get it right, that's cool too. You're going to set the highest score you can. Come on, Frank, run out of time. Go on, dude. Quick. Chop, chop, chop. Have you kept count? No. You forgot to keep count. How's he going to know how many he's done? you got 10 seconds. 10. No. Keep chopping, keep chopping, keep chopping. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, and hold it there. Oh. Whew, not easy, that. Take a breather. Line your mouth tight. Take a little breather, we'll ask the final question of the day. Is that one ball? That's my ball. Oh. Right, final question. How many goals has Ronaldo scored from free kicks? In his whole career, this isn't this season, it's not just when he played for Juventus, or just when he played for Madrid. In his whole career, how many free kicks has Ronaldo scored? I'll give you a clue, because this is a tough one. Some people say 500. Some people say 10. So we've got to narrow things down a little bit. It's either 54 or 64. Which one do you think it is? Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me the right answer. Is it 54 free kicks or 64 free kicks? If you can't type it in the comments because your mum's got her phone or whatever, just shout at the TV. Let us know. What do you think, Frank? 54 or 64? 54. Go with 54? You sure? Because you were wrong on the last one. Should we have to change your answer? He's going to go with 54, all right. He's got so, a lot of normal goals. So. Yeah, true. On your feet, dude. We'll find out the number of free kicks at the end. We've got two more rounds of the, of the lightning round. So we've done lots of chops, okay? Now this one is going to be really, really tough. We are going to go inside and outside as many touches as we can. So we're going to go inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, and just do as many oh, as you possibly no, can, no, okay? No. Now the difficult part here is if you try and do this hopping, like Frankie was doing it, just bouncing, and sometimes your ball spills forward. So I don't mind whether you do it with the little balance or whether you do it just still on the spot and move the feet quickly. Well, let's work as many inside outsides as you can and try and do it for 30 seconds and see how many you can get. But for my advanced players, for those oldest players, the kids who really want to push themselves, you've got to swap feet after every single one, okay? So we're going to go outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, inside, outside, inside. And you've got to work that pattern instead. And work as quick as you can, okay? So all the players that want to test themselves, mums and dads, don't let them do it easy. See if they can do the hard version. Frank, I'll let you pick which one you want to do. You can go for the easier one, where it's all on one foot, or you can go for the harder one, where it's on both feet. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Are you ready? You've got 30 seconds, lightning round. Go, fast as you can. Go on, Frank, move that ball. Don't forget to keep count as well, dude. Keep count, keep count. And keep your balance. Keep that ball under control as much as you can. Good. Good. That's it. Where are you going, Frank? Why are you going so far forward? <laughs> We're back here, dude. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Keep it moving. There you go. Keep that ball working as fast as you can. If you can keep your head up, that would be even better. Like we talked about when Ronaldo runs, can he keep his head up all the way through the skill move? You got another five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And hold it there. Guys, you've done absolutely excellent. That's hard work, isn't it? I told you, Frank. We're not going to give you too much of a break here. We're going to go straight into the final round. Now, Frank, this is the hard one. What's this? We're going to go around and basically like a little circle. I'm going to choose my start point just here. I'm going to go roll, chop, and then dribble back round. You see that? So I do like a little circle. So we roll, chop, and dribble back round. Get back to the beginning. And then back round to the beginning. Good boy. 
What we're trying to do here, Frank, is one circle, and when you've done your circle, that's then one point, and then you try and do as many as you can. So we're going to go roll, chop, back round to the beginning, that's one. Do it again. Roll, chop, back round to the beginning, that's two. Roll, chop, back round, that's three. Yeah? So when you've finished your circle, that's when you've got an extra point. Doesn't count if you're only halfway around. Ready, Frank? So choose your start point. You start just here where I did. Go on, I never did you got 30 seconds, Frank is going to do it with you. Are you fast enough to beat my record? My record in 30 seconds is 10. Oh. Can you beat 10? Are you ready? Let's give it a try. Let's go. Roll, chop, back round to the start. Well done. Frank, he's got one already. Can you keep up with him? Come on, Frank. Let's have again. Roll, chop. Ah. It's all right, back round to the beginning. Chop. We're not going to count that one. He forgot to chop. Go again. Roll, chop. Keep those feet moving quick, guys. Get back round nice and quick. Little donut, good boy. Roll, chop. Oh. Good, he's done it. He's on four. Well done. Keep going. Guys, got about another 10 seconds left. That's have you beaten my record? Have you got past 10? No, Frank, that's on five. That's pretty good. You got five, four, three, two, one, and hold it there. Frankie got six. Massive well done, Frank. That is hard work, especially on your last round when you're tired. Guys, well done if you beat six, if you beat Frankie's score. Amazing if you beat 10. I'll be honest, guys, I totally lied. I've never done 10 in 30 seconds. What? That was really hard. So well done if you beat 10, because you beat my real record. My real record's only eight. That guy's still making a lot of noise. Shout, shut up through your TV, see if you can get him to be quiet. Shut okay. up! <laughs> Not you. you. might actually hear us. Right, guys. So the final question was how many free kicks had Ronaldo scored in his career? Was it 54 or was it 64? Frank, what answer did you say? 54. Frank said 54 and he got it right. Well done to Frank. Whoa! Did you guys get the right answer? Whoa! 54 was the correct answer. He scored over 50 free kicks in his career. That's unbelievable. When you think how hard a free kick is, you've got a wall, you've got a top class keeper. Sometimes you're really far out. He scored over 50 free kicks in his career. Shows how good Ronaldo is. Guys, we are going to sign off today. If you haven't already liked this video, please do it now. It helps more people see this video next week. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook if you haven't done already. Say a massive bye-bye to everybody out there who gave us a shout-out. Thank you. Say bye to Frank. Say bye, Frank. See ya. <laughs> I'll see you all next week. Thank you for joining us, guys. And don't forget, keep training, keep working hard, and one day you might be as good as Ronaldo. Bye, everybody.